so what is up people welcome to the new video and in this video we will be deploying a react application to kubernetes that is a simple to do list application we will deploy to kubernetes on a aws ec2 instance so we will set up a mini kube cluster for kubernetes in the instance of aws so here is a blog for how you can deploy this application this will be very simpler like you don't need to write any yaml files we will just run some commands and we will deploy our application so let's get started so here i am on my aws console and here i will launch a new instance and here i will name it let's say mini cube cluster or something mini cube deploy and i will select ami as ubuntu instance type you need to select t2 medium for key pair i already have this key kubernetes persistent i will use this for security group just edit it here we will use 3 3000 port for our application so you just need to add a security group rule here just add port range 3000 or anywhere right now just you can create launch your instance so let's wait for some seconds okay so our instance is launched it is saying it is pending for now just to refresh it in some minutes it will be ready to use so now it is running now we need to connect to this ec2 instance so just click on this connect button here you can see how you can connect so i will connect using my ssh client from my terminal but if you don't want to use your own ssh client you can directly connect it from the console you just need to connect here and it will open a new tab and it will establish a ssh connection from right from the aws console to your instance right and you can like you can see here you can connect uh, interact with your ec2 instance here but i don't want to use it i will just use my ssh client i will copy this command here and then paste right just type yes here okay so i am inside my instance now so now we need to set up mini cube first of all so first of all what we need we need to update the packages and then we need to install docker right so let's update sudo apt update so it will update all the packages so packages are updated now just install docker sudo apt install docker.io So now docker is installed now what we need to install we need to install minikube and contract so you can just copy the command from the right from this blog here and i will paste these commands first i need to go root just run this command apt install contract now you need to add the current user to the docker group so that you can start your minikube using the docker driver right so just copy this command and exit from the root and here just copy the command now just start minikube using docker driver okay so it is downloading kubernetes files and all the container images so it will take a while for setting up minikube and it will start your minikube cluster so let's wait for it 
so here we have a docker image for our react to do list app so we will use this image to deploy the pod for our application right Okay, so now our mini cube cluster is ready. Just uh, sorry, let me check the mini cube status once. So it is saying cube red running, all things are running. So now what we need, we need to deploy this this Docker image as a pod here. So we will run kubectl run. What we will name it to do list app image is equal to this one, right? So now it is saying pod is created. How you can check your pods? You just need to run kubectl get pods. And it is saying container is creating. So it is not created now, right? So just run the command again. Now it is saying it is running, right? So now our pod is deployed, but we need to access it, right? So we for that we need to expose this application right so as a service so we will run kubectl expose pod what was the name of our pod just uh, run kubectl get pods command and now run kubectl expose pod to do list app now what will be type of our service node port and uh, port will be 80 of our application and uh, just add the name for your service let's say to do list app service right now it is saying service is exposed so how you can check your services you just need to run kubectl get svc or service so now you can see this service is deployed and it is on this port so how you can access this node port because uh, we are running Kubernetes on the Minikube cluster. So Minikube is just like a VM on your this AWS instance. So how you can check, you just need to run Minikube service. What is the service name? To do list app service, like URL. It will give a URL, right? So now we have the URL, now just curl it. It will give you the application right here. So now we can see our application inside uh, our VM right inside our instance but we want to access this application outside right so as you know we already defined a security group rule for this port for 3000 port we need to port forward our application to this 3000 port right so let's do this so just run kubectl port forward port forward our service what was the name of our service let check right so kubectl get svc now run kubectl port port forward svc to do list app service now assign the ports here i will assign 3000 to map 80 port address we will assign 0 .0 0.0.0 and add and here for running it in the background so now it is saying forwarding from this ip to 80 port right from this port to 80 port now what we need we just go to the auto assigned ip address just copy it and paste it in your browser and add 3000 port here so you can see our to-do list application is deployed and it was very simple to deploy this application we just need to run two to two three commands and our application is ready to go on the kubernetes right so this is how you can 
run your application on Kubernetes. So it was not like an efficient way. But if you want to learn more about and practice about the Kubernetes services, how Kubernetes expose works, so these commands are very helpful for deploying your application quickly, right? So thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you found the content valuable. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.